Hi friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, thanks for tuning in to Johnny's Flute Reviews. I'm Johnny Lippard and since 2002 I've dedicated myself to everything flute. I teach, perform, and record full time with the Native American flute. I post videos here on YouTube covering flute tips, tutorials, original songs, and cover songs to showcase how versatile the Native American flute is. If you're new here and interested in becoming a more emotive flute player, or you just love listening to the sounds of the Native American flute, be sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time a new video drops. Now, let's dive into a flute from my personal collection. Welcome back. In this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, we're gonna be looking at pocket flutes. So I have four different flutes here with me. Um, they are relatively small, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of the piccolo version of the Native American flute. Uh, these pocket flutes, uh, I've got a couple of different keys represented, two in A minor, two in G minor. Uh, so as I talk about one, I'm actually going to put the other ones in my pocket. They're called pocket flutes. So, <laughs> so the first one that I want to share with you is um, this one's made by Butch Hall. It's called the Little Crow. Um, I do sell these on my website. They're made from walnut. Uh, they've got a little crow um, wood burn down here at the bottom, the foot end of the flute. This one's in the key of A minor. It only has five holes. Kind of hard to squeeze in a sixth hole there just with the size and it might kind of crowd things up. It might make it a little tough to play. Um, so Butch has um, resorted to a five hole flute. Now these are um, an octave above our mid A minor flute. So the mid A minor flute, that's kind of a really common place to start with the Native American flute. I have about six, maybe seven A minor flutes. It's one of my, um, one of my favorite keys of flutes really. Um, so in recording, I like to add in some higher flutes. Now these, um, these pocket flutes are great for backpacking, hiking, um, taking with you really anywhere. I mean, they fit in your pocket or purse. Um, and it's just fun to, uh, uh, to whip one out and play, especially if you're out in nature, they're good for mimicking bird calls and whistles and things like that as well. So let's get right down to it. Um, this is a uh, one, one piece of wood minus the, the block here. Butch does glue down the block just for, um, um, just for not safety reasons, but um, these are marketed uh, for children to play. My son plays uh, one of these and it's nice to have that block kind of fixed. I know it kind of goes against the rule of thumb for, you know, cleaning out and wetting out and that kind of thing, but um, I don't think there's any harm with it being glued down. So anyway, it makes it a little more sturdy and durable. Uh, so here is uh, the Little Crow A minor pocket flute. So a really fun flute to play. Now, if you're not sold on the five hole version of a pocket flute, I'm really glad that Odell Borg of High Spirit Flutes has, um, he now makes his, even the A minor one, so the same key as this one, um, he's now making them in the six hole version, which is super, super cool because getting those cross finger notes, uh, you know, one in particular uh, where the top two and the fourth one are down and the rest of them are open. I love that note. So just to look in comparison, this is a high spirit pocket flute in A. Uh, don't mind the block. This one is my one of my son's flutes. So you can see it's it's got a little love. Um, so he's beefed up the um, overall uh, size of it, but has added a sixth hole, um, which is really, really, really nice. So here we go with, this one's made from aromatic cedar. Uh, so here we go. This is in the key of A minor.
a lot of fun. Um, for me, I don't have incredibly large fingers. I'd say they're about medium to large. Um, and I don't find, um, you know, my fingers might be touching a little bit, but I don't feel like they're super crowded. So I think Odell's kind of hit the, um, the nail on the head with the spacing and overall design. Plus with it being a little bit um, a little bit larger, a little bit more beefy. Um, I don't feel like I'm, I'm going to drop it and break it. I don't feel like it's as fragile, um, which they're pretty durable. Um, again, this is one that's had a little love. So this is uh, one of uh, High Spirit's pocket flutes in the key of G minor. This is an old design. So the newer ones are a little bit thicker like the A here. So um, I've done a lot of recording with this particular one. Uh, this is a note below what we've just played. So this is the key of G minor. just fun to do a lot of that chirping and uh, some of those little flutters and tonguing and uh, pops in there as well. Uh, so really what I love about this is when you get into high flutes, sometimes they can sound a little shrill. So finding one that sounds sweet and kind of mellow almost is really the ticket. Otherwise they get a little piercing and a little shrill sounding uh, for our ears. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna keep moving here. Um, this is a small flute uh, made by Brad Young of Four Wind Flutes. Um, again, it is a five hole flute. Uh, this is also one of my son's flutes. It was gifted uh, to him by Brad. Thank you, sir. Um, and this one has a really sweet voice. Um, again, I don't feel crowded by the, um, the holes at all. Uh, I think he's done a great job. So this would be good for um, children, grandchildren, um, also adults that are kids at heart. Or sometimes you just need a higher pitch flute for um, maybe a recording or something like that that you're working with. Oh, these are really great also for drum circles. Uh, sometimes when you're in a large drum circle, the only thing you can hear is the drum. So you need something to kind of push above the noise and pocket flutes are a really great solution for that. So here we go. All right, so in the description below, I'll drop in some links where you can find information about all of these uh, flutes. Uh, we've got three different flute makers represented here. We've got uh, Butch Hall, uh, it's a little uh, walnut one, High Spirits for the two cedar ones, and Brad Young here. Uh, this, one's also, this one's made from Spanish cedar, by the way. So look in the description below for some links to, uh, to these guys. Uh, also look in the description below for links to resources to advance your own flute playing and some things that might help you along your flute journey. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews. Be sure you subscribe and come back often. Um, I publish videos quite frequently ranging from flute reviews, flute tips and tutorials, original songs, and cover songs. So if you're on this journey with a Native American flute or you're looking to get started, um, be sure to um, check out some more videos. So thanks so much. I will see you next time.